All right, everyone, here we go. This is a very random, super, what I call a super random reading. There's no extended that goes with this one, although there normally would be. This is for, it's too late in the day here on Sunday for me to do an extended, but it's a very interesting little reading about what the universe wants you to know about your person. You know, or maybe the impact you had on them, which kind of comes up here in the pre-shuffle a little bit. I don't know, it might help someone. I'm here for a reason. I hadn't planned on doing this. It's super random. So let's pull ourselves a reading. This is all signs. It does not matter what your sign is. It's straight up energy reading. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. I'm just going to do a regular reading. You know, my usual reading, five cards on the table. We clarify everything, you know, all that kind of stuff. The usual Steve Love Tarot here. No, no real extended with this one, like I said, but we don't need it. It's a pretty straightforward question because, and I'm, this is coming in as energy because I think because of the Schrodinger's cat that I did the other day, and I think because of all the readings I've been pulling, um, and because of the three card that I pulled recently, I mean, it's just, it's, it's all here. I always tell you guys, don't underestimate the impact you've had on this person. I got the wheel of fortune here. And I'll skip ahead, way ahead. All right, there's our justice card. You can kind of see it. But what's what's actually underneath the empress is the justice card. But the empress, you, are bookending the wheel of fortune. I'll skip ahead and just show you that. I asked the universe straight up. I said, what do you want to tell my viewers about their person? And it's all about the impact you've had. You've completely turned this person around, causing them to want to make some changes with the fool crossing the Wheel of Fortune. There's that Ten of Swords we've been talking about. I don't remember what reading it came out in, but it was extremely powerful. And here it is here, in an All Signs reading, if it wasn't an All Signs reading that it came out in. Um, the Ten of Swords is crossed by the, the Knight of Wands, okay? You showed someone that whatever they have on their side they can no longer stay in. It's you. You showed them the. It's like you. You showed them the loaf of bread. You pulled a loaf of bread out of their cabinet, and you showed them the expiration date on what they've been eating. And the bread expired like a long time ago, like way, way past. That's one of the things that this connection did for this person. Um, and that's sort of reflected in today's three card that I did earlier, where where there was that volatile energy around. Those last four cards that I pulled at the very end where I asked the universe, what's the purpose of this energy, right? Why, why, why are you putting this energy? Why is this little storm coming in right now? And it's to show your person. Those last four cards proved it. You know, I believe it was something to the effect of a nine of swords, a four of cups. I think there was a, uh, oh God, what the hell was it? I forget what the other one was, but, but then there was, a, a oh, the Seven of Swords and then the Nine of Pentacles as the last four. And that was basically a message that says uh, it's, the energy is here because they can't keep living the way they've been living. The, they, they can't keep the status quo. It's not okay anymore. All right? And it's sort of like it's true. Once you show someone who's been eating that loaf of bread, once you show them the expiration date, they're probably not going to continue to eat it, if, especially if it's way past. And that's what this is representing. Now, this, this person knows all this. The Ace of Swords is here. They know the truth, but they push it down a lot. And that's the end result that you get is the High Priestess who keeps cards close to the vest, right? Keeps secrets, pushing it back, not listening to their intuition. They get their intuition and their, and their brain confused all the time and their ego. They get them mixed up all the time. They're, they're so used to listening to their ego. But they know the truth. That's Archangel Michael's sort of truth there. But what you end up with is sort of a high priestess energy of someone keeping secrets and pushing it back, but treating you contrary to the way they actually feel. But at the end of the day here, the Empress, like I said, you, it's all about you. You changed this person's life. Underneath that, we saw it when I was flipping in is justice. I didn't even know that was there. But justice, we're going to see a lot between now and Halloween. I promise you, it's going to come up a lot. Um, somebody, I think they're doing something about it. I think a good number of them are. We're going to see a huge chunk of people that are connecting with their runner over, over between now and the end of the year, but in particular between now and the beginning of November. Um, I, my Q4 reading kind of proved that. Let's see. Let's pull a reading. Let's go. Um, I don't have anything else to do. I thought, well, 
The energy's here. The universe seems to want to chat about this. And I think this reading might help somebody. You know, somebody out there, you know, every person matters, even if it's just one person. If I look at the stats and I see that six people watch this video, if I help one of them with this, that's good. If you sleep better or whatever it is, I don't know. But that's a very, based on the question I asked the universe, that's not a surprising pre-shuffle for me. Okay, because I've been telling you guys a long time, uh, especially in the extendeds, don't underestimate the impact you've had on this person. You have. Without this connection, without you guys crossing paths, um, I don't know, things could have gone real bad for this person. They've been eating spoiled bread for a long time. Whether they're married or not, I'm not talking about marriage or anything. Could be. Could be married. But it can just be the way they've been living. You know, you show them that they got it wrong. And the, the status quo will not last. Let's see here. This first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? So what do you want to tell everybody? about their person. Six of Swords. Somebody's moving on from the way they've been living, heading toward their rainbow. And it's a very clear message. It's slow. It takes a while for that High Priestess energy to come up. But it's coming up. We saw that three card I pulled earlier today, that volatile energy, the fighting going on. And all that, I can tell you hours later, as the, at, here at the end of the day, because I pulled that reading at the beginning of the day, and I told you about, I saw uh, a herd, rather, three couples, fighting while I just took one little lap around my, my block earlier today. Um, I've been hearing it all day. You know, I've taken longer walks in the middle of the day and, and it's, it's going on all over the place. What comes after the cut? That energy is here. It's, you know, I said, I said back around Lionsgate, we're going to see some breakups for sure. I have no doubt. Um, yeah, the five of swords. Somebody's moving on from short term thinking. Six of Swords, Five of Swords. Somebody's moving on from short-term thinking, uh, short-sightedness, self-sabotage, sabotaging their own happiness, believing the lies, believing that the shit tastes good, even though it's shit. You could take a piece of shit, a whole big pile of dog shit, or human shit, and shape it into a nice-looking cheeseburger, put it in a bun. It's still shit, no matter what, you know. And that's what this person's been doing. They've been eating mm, shit burger. <laughs> you know, they really have. Uh, they're moving on from that, okay, in this energy. It, this energy in and of itself is showing them that they can't keep the status quo. But your connection did that. This specific reading is about what, your, what you, your having you in their life, even, for, even if it was for a brief moment, what it did. And it wasn't for a brief moment. Even if you only talked to this person for a brief amount of time, all right? Maybe you banged them once, right? Something like that, or not, even, or not at all. Um, either or, uh, they spied a lot. They thought about you a lot. It, it's one of those these deep soul connections. You know, they uh, they linger. They really do. All right. Given the deck a final shuffle, what do you want to tell these people, these viewers, about their person? All right. It it might change the subject here. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't, I'm not the warlock on the hill. I don't control what the universe gives me. But, i uh, tell you what. Again, we got to remember the pre-shuffle. You have had a huge impact on this person. Our overall energy for everything that falls on the table is Fakey McFakerman. That shouldn't be a surprise to anybody watching. That is the Queen of Wands. It is the wall of pretense they put up. Do not underestimate the impact you've had on this person. What is fueling this card? What's underneath it? Yeah, look at that. Strength. Lion holding one of the roses from the Two of Cups. Two soulmates coming together in this deck. They got your rose in their mouth. And I don't know about you. I'm not an expert on lions. But I imagine once one of these critters gets something in its mouth, uh, it's pretty hard to get it out of there. I, I don't advise you try. Maybe they're feeding the lion at the zoo. You go in the cage and you try to take whatever it's eating. I wouldn't advise that, you know, but, it, you know, hey, do what you want. I, you didn't hear it from me. I, I'm not suggesting anybody do that. I think it's a bad idea. Um, somebody here it is, I think, it, in a strange way, and I don't know what I'm going to clarify with yet, but I am going to put the light seer there as a little holder for this. In a strange way, I think it's somebody realizing how full of shit they've been. You know, again, they, they can't keep the status quo. The three card we pulled earlier, those last four cards, like I told you, the message there is clear. 
this this energy this volatile energy that's around right now and it's going to be around at different times for all of you you're all moving at different speeds on your timeline but this volatile energy that's around is here to show them once and for all that they cannot keep the status quo in other words they don't come towards you and then they feel disappointment and that's like and that's sort of the the moment where they go oh i can't sit in this and then they move on and then they go nine of pentacles freedom you know which is what that little read showed us so if you haven't watched my three card from earlier today the reading just before this one I would watch it right here's the energy around your connection right here's how your person's behaving in the 3d right here's their soul right here's the hidden energy the message from the universe I'll tell you what she says it's red with the energy of the connection and right here's the potential final outcome I say potential because I cannot predict free will I will clarify everything throw some universe universe <laughs> universe breed Steve universe cards over the top and uh, I will not be extending this there's no need this is just a little message for the universe from the universe to you. All right, let's see where we go. What's the energy around the connection right now? First card out after Fakey McFakerman, the hangman. Somebody's been doing a lot of thinking. Somebody's got new perspective. You've given this person perspective. Perspective is one of the most valuable things in life. It is, it is worth more than gold. It truly is. Um, you've, mm, the energy of the connection right now, it, I'm just drawn to the eyes on the bat. They're lit. Somebody knows here. Somebody is well aware we saw that Ace of Swords in the pre-shuffle. Remember, we have to remember the pre-shuffle. Why do they behave? How are they behaving in the 3D? The Two of Pentacles. It's decision time. That's it. That's the only message I got off that. I got no lecture here. I got no nothing. You you gave them a choice when you guys crossed paths. You see, before they the runners in this cycle manifested this in. I, I've learned that doing these readings out here as I study the cycle. Um, they did, it, it, the implication there is they didn't have a choice before. Now they have a choice. Uh, they've continually made the wrong choice, although they've been full of shit. Um, but I think a choice is being made here. Like I said, that lion's holding that rose pretty tight. I'm not going to go try and take it from him. Uh, I'm not. It's decision time here because of what's been seen. Because of what can't be unknown. In other words, you can't unsee it. Right? Kind of a thing. What's uh, how's their soul? This is their soul energy. It bookends the hangman, which is a card of the soul, really. Nine of Pentacles, breaking free. That very card that I'm talking about, about the three card reading, where I pulled four extra cards at the end to ask the universe, why is this volatile energy here? What is your purpose, pickle old gal universe? It is this. In their soul, they know that they can't keep the status quo. It's because of you, all of the changes. Do not forget the pre-shuffle. In fact, after you watch this reading, rewind back to the beginning and re-watch the pre-shuffle. It's extremely important. All right, and it's, it's playing out here in various ways, but if the, when the soul wants to break free, this I don't usually like pentacles in the soul, but this one's okay. This is fine. They realize they can't keep the status quo is what this is saying. It's decision time. And again, they have the strength now to get past this. This rattlesnake realizes that the rattle isn't working. The rattle is bullshit. It's time to strike. And they might be vulnerable if they stretch out to strike, but they're going to have to. In no small part, because you're not going away. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop feeling you. Especially in this current energy, especially after Lionsgate, where they got course corrected. And I'm going to tell you something. In my Q4 reading for October, we talked about justice. We talked about, you know, somebody coming towards you, you finding out something, all those kinds of things. But if Lionsgate didn't get them, if they somehow defeated Lionsgate and all the North Node activity of uh, August and the beginning of September, the party at the 1010 10, 10, 10 portal here in October which that energy is going to start bleeding in around the second or third. Good luck to them. Godspeed. Because, you know, there, there's a decision being made here. There's, there's, a, there's some fighting happening we saw earlier. Somebody, you know, all this shit is going down fairly soon. Different times for each of you, but fairly soon. I'm not seeing any indication that it's behind the scenes. You may or may not know about it when it happens. I don't know. What's the universe want to tell us? It's red with the hanged man. Page of Wands. Yeah. I like the Page of Wands. Most cases, I like it. I like it here. It's a color match for the Hanged Man. It's, they're both dark on the top, light on the bottom. Okay? It's, it's, a, it's an energy match. It is red with this anyway, whether it was or wasn't. 
but it's tied to this. It's someone who, there's, there's, there is that curiosity about you. It's someone who wants to come towards you. Someone who wants to talk to you. Someone who wants to say thanks. Someone who wants to owe you, give you an apology. I don't know. It's going to play out differently for all of you. But this is communication. The universe says, wait for it. Okay? It, it, right now, in the current energy, it, all you needed, all you ever need in a soulmate cycle is for someone to realize that they, that they passed up on something really good. Okay? And they can't keep what they have. They can't keep the status quo. Because if they do, it just ends in disappointment and depression and misery. You can only block that out for so long, you know, before you snap. All right, potential final outcome read with decision time here. <laughs> what have I been talking about? I, I took a peek. I'm laughing. I, I love tarot. I do. You're expecting like an eight of wands or something communication. No, tarot, tarot it's more subtle than that. Okay, we've been talking about what the four of cups. I told you in the three in the three card I pulled earlier is the linchpin to this whole thing. It's four cups. It's right there. It's somebody who, if they keep the, on the one side, if they keep the status quo, it's disappointment. On the other side, if if they if they go toward you, they're they're worried that you might say no. There's a fear of coming toward you, and there's an, there's disappointment attached with keeping the status quo. The net result here is they take a chance. I'm telling you, we're going to see that when we clarify here. This is, this is for this reading, this is the best card that could have fallen here. Because it's all about this person realizing that they can't keep the status quo. And that's what you did for them. You gave them a choice. You showed them something different. You, sh you were, in essence, their guru. This connection was. The feelings they have for it. Whether you had interaction with the person or not makes no difference. The feelings they had for this were enough. Okay? It's all about, life is all about feelings anyway. And this is somebody who's been suppressing them. Who's been pushing them back. Who's been making a dog shit hamburger and thinking it tastes great. Oh, this is great. It's prime beef. Mmm, delicious. No, it isn't. It's still dog shit. You know. They can't convince themselves anymore. Somebody breaking free here. The soul is breaking out of its cage. Let's see where we go. Hangman, I'm going to clarify with the Lightseer deck. I wasn't sure which deck I was going to use for clarifying, but I got the Burger King at the bottom, and we've been talking about burgers. So I figure that's a sign, right? I mean, come on, right? <laughs> the thing is, I will tell you about this, okay? The Burger King here gotta have it their way. That's why we call them the Burger King. It's all ego and pride and all that kind of stuff. Somebody is, ha I want to talk for a second about the energy that's coming off this because it's linked to that three card I pulled er earlier today about the volatile energy. Somebody here is still having it their way. They're still the Burger King. They gotta have it their way, right? But the thing is, is the way this energy is, it's flipped from what it normally is. Now it's somebody who is having it their way, but it's by the cup rather than by the pinnacle. It's a lot less ego attached to it. What I'm trying to say is for the people, so let's say for example, your person's married or something like that and they're arguing with their person in that volatile energy that I pulled on earlier. It might cause their person to say, who are you? I don't even know who you are anymore. Something like that, okay? Because when I, when I read the energy off of this, I don't even know who this, usually I get it, it's the same thing I've been getting since I got here. This is different. This is somebody who's doing something very different now, okay, from a different perspective. See, breaking free from a different perspective. All right, the hangman, let's go. Why is it here? Very interesting. I like asking the universe these random questions from time to time. It doesn't always give me the answer. You know, I don't control what energy comes in. Sometimes you can't pull a reading. You know, for those of you that pull readings out there, you can ask the universe whatever you want. It's up to the damn energy whether it comes in or not. All right? And sometimes it doesn't. So you got to be careful. You got to use your intuition and make sure you know, okay, I'm getting an answer here. If the reading's at all erroneous, you're probably not. All right? All right, let's see where we go. Hang man. Well, we're definitely getting an answer here. You do not underestimate the impact you've had on this person. They care. They care a lot. In fact, you're their only hope in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. You're like their Obi-Wan, man. It's unreal. 
The hangman, why is it here? Tell me about it. What's crossing the hangman? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I got two. Uh, remember, it's red with the page of uh, wands. I got a page of cups. I got pages all over the place here. Okay. I said about this card here, for example, coming towards you, they rejected you. Coming towards you is tough for this person. I think they're still going to do it. I've got nothing but communication here all the way around from someone who hasn't been doing anything, who's been pushing it down, who is now not pushing anything down, all right, under this energy. All right, let's see. What's on top? Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Gave to the wrong thing. Um, yeah, in the light of day, I'll phrase it this way. In the light of day, they realized they gave to the wrong thing. They went the wrong way. Net, net, the, the result is disappointment in this person. And it's disappointment that wins the day. And like I told you in that three card, in case you didn't watch it, we learned uh, about the DF and your lesson when I pulled on you in a recent reading, uh, where we talked about your lessons in this cycle live in the Four of Cups. But they're more rooted on, you know, on asking questions of why. Why did this happen? Why am I disappointed? You know, it's about your self-worth, in other words. Um, for your person, the lessons also live in the Four of Cups, but it's different. They need to feel the disappointment. It's just disappointment. Okay? What they have on their side makes them very sad. Whether they admit it or not, it's the truth. All right? You're very important. But there's a lot of fear toward coming towards you. There truly is. The Strength card is, is rooted in fear in a lot of ways. Because you, if you have to get the strength up to do something, it implies you're afraid to do it. It, it, it's coming from a point of fear. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? I think I know, but it's the Seven of Pentacles. It's an escalation. They're coming towards you. Okay? It's, they can't sit by any longer. All right? It's time to, at the very least, it's time to make a decision. All right? This is all the lessons from the past. This is everything. Once they get real in this energy, they are living by the cup. Okay, the, the, the soul is flowing. We've seen it in a recent Twin Flame journey. We've seen it in recent readings. I can't pinpoint the exact ones. We saw the volatile energy in the reading I did earlier today. Seven of Pentacles. It's happening now because the, the timing is right. Now, what do I, we always hear people say divine timing, right? What's that mean? Okay, well, I'll, I'll home spin it for you. Okay, you know I'm not one for the hocus pocus. We're not going to have any unicorns running across here or, you know, talk about fairies and shit like that. But I, I'll steve it up for you. Divine timing is the energy has to be right for something to happen. Basically. Okay, again, I'm, I'm home spinning it. The energy has to be right for something to happen. I gave you the analogy once in an energy weather forecast where I said maybe you get the inclination you want to go outside and splash around in, in, uh, in puddles. Right? With your fancy umbrella. Well, that's fine. But if, if it's a sunny day, 100 degrees outside, not a puddle in sight, and not a cloud in the sky, the energy is not right for it because weather is energy. Right? You have to wait for a rainy day and then you can do it. It's, it's that way with anything. You want to quit drinking. You want to quit smoking. You want to quit partying. You want to change your life. The energy has to be right for it. It's all divine timing. You have to wait for the right storm of energy to come around. Uh, otherwise, you fail. That's why a lot of people fail. You talk to, uh, they did a study that they talked to, and they, and they weren't talking about energy or anything like that, obviously. They were just, you know, 3D people, if you will, just talking about regular psych, psychology type stuff. And they interviewed a bunch of people that, that, quit, that quit an addiction. And they talked about how uh, they failed many times quitting the addiction. They'd quit and then they'd relapse, quit and then they'd relapse. And then when they actually did quit, because they talked to people who quit, they, t they said it was actually really easy when they quit. It just, it just happened. It flowed a lot better. Now, the psychologists equate that to, you know, just trial and error and you getting mad and all that kind of... It's not. The energy was wrong when they were doing it before. So the divine timing here, for some reason, with the hanged man here, the energy is right for this person to show up, to make the right decision. They're living life by the cups. As a page, mind you, but divine timing, we're not waiting for anything. It's here, all right? Um, so let's see where we go here. Mm. So again, if you're trying to do something and you fail, the, the energy just wasn't right for it. Everything is energy, everything. All right? and, and energy has energy is just like weather. It's no different. 
it comes around there's storms of it that come around it comes in it goes it's 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 the same thing it's a good analogy it's a good way for you to look at it so try and try again they say right yeah well, well just keep trying and that's what that's kind of what's been happening here in the soulmate cycle the universe keeps sending these storms and right now it's a pretty volatile one um why is the two of pentacles here mm. Why is it? it rivals the storm over Alaska right now, which apparently is the worst they've ever had in history. All right, so there you go. That's kind of the volatile storm that's over right now, over things right now, energetically speaking anyway. Why is the uh, Two of Pentacles here? Let's go. It's decision time, is it? Look at this. Look, look at all these escalations. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, crossed by the Three of Pentacles. Jesus. It's like a countdown happening here or something or some sort of a, you know, I don't know when I, it's like the universe is like when I get to 10, this shit's going to, you know, that kind of thing. Why is the three of pentacles here? Well, it's the affecting energy. It's somebody who's making a decision to start over. They, they're, they're making, they want to rebuild on a solid foundation. Again, the disappointment, if they, if, they, if they stay where they are, it just ends in disappointment. I think that needs to happen for most of them. I think the purpose of the volatile energy, this particular little storm that's passing right now, is to put this person in this disappointment energy so they see once and for all that they can't stay where they are. It's that simple. What's on top here? Six of Cups. Yeah, there's the past. Look at that. Why is the Six of Cups here? Jesus, I wonder. Oh man, it's this is like perfection and tarot. Check this shit out. They got a, it's decision time, right? They got two decisions to make. Six of Cups, the past. Do I keep the things the same? Do I keep the past? That's over there. On the other side is this huge amount of Three of Swords pain. Kurt Cobain or Peppin Patty, either or in pain. There is there is pain over you. Oh, you're this side of it. You're, the, you're sort of the green light. You're something new. Um, the, they're weighing two things. Do I, do I stay in the past or do I move toward the future? But the thing is, is these, this card is red with these, so I have to take it into account. Again, like I told you, there's a lot of pain that, over the fact that they, they rejected you and you might reject them and they're worried about that. Oh, but then I keep, it's all tied to disappointment. The pain over you and you might reject them but they rejected you and they feel bad about it they do I can feel that in the energy they do feel bad about what happened they handled it poorly is in the energy when they think about you they handled things poorly that's what they think about themselves and that's this card right here it is one of the cards that ends the separation phase of the soulmate cycle usually the main card but either way it, they have just so that's the disappointment towards you the disappointment towards their their status quo the way they've been living is just it it's just having to stay in it having to keep going and that's tied to disappointment too so it all hinges on disappointment and i think the decision is the universe is telling me the decision is leaning toward you because that three of swords that hurts that hurts they want to fix that they think they handled this poorly. They could have done something better. They could have said something differently. It is what it is. Ah, uh, I'm reminded of a, you know, the universe sends me a song sometimes. This is a weird one. I've only heard it twice in my life. It's from a band called Ario Speedwagon. It's called In Your Letter. I think it's on their High Infidelity album. Um, I remember it from like when I was a kid. It has a line in it that keeps ringing in my head, and I, I can't believe the universe sent it to me. It's weird, because I haven't heard it in ages. It's, uh, in your letter, you said you didn't want me, you said you didn't need me, and then there's a line after it, but you could have said it better, right? That's this energy that's here around this Three of Swords, the way they feel about themselves. They handled it wrong, you know? It's coming out like that. Uh. They lied if they said they didn't want you. Let's pull on the soul. You ready? You ready for some soul here? Here we go. Breaking free. The, uh, it's a card of liberation. It's an energy of liberation coming out of it. It means the soul is out of its cage when the Nine of Pentacles falls there. In my reading, and this is my reading, what's crossing it? <laughs> it's bookending the hangman. Remember I said that. It's crossed by the hangman. Look, this reading... You talk about divinely guided Jesus Christ. I mean, it's perfection. 
I couldn't have fucking set up a better reading. Not that, you know, I mean, honest to fucking God, it's ridiculous. Um, they just doing it. It's, it's, it's so, it's coming out of the hangman. It's freeing themselves from this, from this energy of doing nothing. It's decision time. It's just the whole reading, the whole top row is just backing itself up. What's on top? The three of cups, they want to open up. Again, a card of celebration, a card of liberation, all right? Freeing themselves from a third energy as well. That can be within them or outside them. It could be a divorce. It could be, again, we saw that three card earlier. A lot of volatile energy around. They're lashing out, if, you know, just like the people in my neighborhood apparently today. You know, that energy is everywhere, whether people are in the soulmate cycle or not. The soulmate cycle is a reflection of the societal energy. Um, not the other way around. All right, so yeah, uh, it's yeah liberating themselves from a third party. They want to open up. Why is the three is celebration energy liberation from the hangman from doing nothing because they got a new perspective and it's decision time. Do I stick with the old? Well, that's disappointing. Or do I go toward? Oh, but I hurt them. Oh God, I could have said it better. In my letter, I told them I didn't want them and I didn't need them and then I ran from them. I could have done that better, but they might reject me, but I should go anyway. Again, they're leaning toward you. This is a very powerful energy in a soulmate cycle. Why is the Three of Cups here? Judgment. They want a second chance. Listen, they want a second chance at life. Uh, this is God's source, the universe itself. Uh, why are they liberating themselves? Because they, this is a second chance energy. Resurrection. They want a second chance. Their life is dead. You showed them that there's hope for life in it. Now, I can't guarantee they come toward you. I don't, can't predict free will. But you definitely changed this person's life. Um, they're definitely not going to stick with the status quo. I believe that's true. I don't know how they can. That ends in almost a suicidal level of fucking disappointment if they do. My God. Which is terrible. That's, that Nobody should ever get in that state. But... I think this universe is doing this on purpose to put them in this energy so that they see, look, you need to change. Um, the, the, their soul definitely knows it. It's awake. This is, this is, they want a second chance and they know what they have to do to get it. Um, that's all I got to say on that. That's, pr that's incredible that that came out there. That's, you have no idea. No idea at all. That is just, I can't even find the words. I feel like I should go get my phone. No. Um, it's decision time for them for sure. What's the universe want to tell us about this page of wands? Now this is communication, which is why this card is why I think they're, in, they're leaning more toward coming toward you. Uh, even though they rejected you, they really do have this. What Kurt's upset about here is how poorly he handled this. Okay? He or she. You know? Again, it could be Peppermint Patty. So either way. What, what Kurt's, Kurt Cobain is upset about how well he handled things. You know? You go, uh, he, and he probably is in the afterlife. You know, maybe I didn't need to put that shotgun to my, you know, maybe I didn't. You know, could have done something different. You know, maybe I don't know. You know, they're just disappointed with the way they handled things. And everything went to shit. Just like with Kurt Cobain after he died. The whole damn genre he started went to shit. It just went, it, it tanked. It went in the toilet. I don't know what happened to music in the late 90s. I have no idea. I remember the first time I turned on the radio and I heard, I don't even remember what band, I think it was the, the Cardigans or some band like that. I have no idea. They had a song that's just doot, 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 doot. It sounds like a fucking, I don't know, some kind of a alarm clock going off or something like. Drove me crazy. Made me fucking homicidal when that would come on. I would turn the, I'd change the channel immediately. Uh, that, but that's all good energy. That's all energy that, that, that works for you. It's part of it. I'm reading the energy that way because that's the energy that's here. Everything went to shit for this person when they ran from you. The universe started throwing them in towers, trying to show them that the, what they have is past their expiration date. You made them look at things they didn't want to look at. And it, it, everything went batshit catawampus on their side. And now this is resurrection. This is coming back from the dead. Kurt Cobain is dead. And coming back from the dead. Uh, they want a second crack. They want a second crack at it. 
Looks like they get it with this page of wands here, but let's see what the universe has to say. I've been shuffling the whole time I've been talking. Yeah, best get to stepping. It's ten swords crossing it. Somebody here is, is very worried on their side that a lot of time has passed here or that this is already over, that you're already gone. That is nothing for you to be concerned about for reasons I've already explained. It is actually what's going to bring them in. There is the second ten of swords. All right, but also somebody here wants something new. This is my curious page. Somebody, my little explorer page. Somebody wants some. It's what I told you over here. Somebody wants something new. They want to try something that's that's different. That's that's more from the heart or whatever. This this ties to that ten of swords that that was up in the pre-shuffle. All right, somebody here can't stay in the status quo, but they know they definitely want to talk to you, but they're afraid to. Okay, I'm just going to be honest with you. So I can't guarantee they come toward you, but they're going to use the soulmate connection they have with you as, as, a, as a template for the future, for sure. So that's, that, in a, that in and of itself, you'll get good karma for, for being a part of. But I suspect for a good number of you, they show up. I, I, I just, I have a hard time. Eh, I do. I know we got a reading on that once before and it was like, you know, 60-40, more 60 that they go another direction kind of thing, but I, I think we're sliding into 50-50 territory here or beyond. What's on top? Yeah, temperance. Somebody come to their senses. Uh, it's red with the Six of Pentacles, a card of balance. It's, it's somebody here who just wakes up one day and decides they're going to reach out. This is, a separate, this is separate from the reading. You know, it's red with the energy of the connection here. It, it, the energy is just right for it right now. I explained my homespun version of what divine timing is to you for a reason. You know, the energy is right. Your person, metaphorically speaking, your person wants to splash around in puddles and today it's raining. Well, lucky them. Lucky you. You're the puddle they, they want to splash around in. What's, what's temperance doing here? I get communication, communication. Temperance is communication. When it falls on the top of a card of communication, why, why is it here? Three of wands, yeah. Um, she going in the water. Somebody's come to their senses. Somebody here, this three of wands is why temperance is here. Because they've been thinking about it too long. And it's time to, to get happy. This is Archangel Michael. We already saw his sword up in the pre-shuffle. This three of wands is red technically in my reading with the seven of pentacles energy. And again, the timing is right. She'd been, she been waiting to go in the water for the waves to get just right. Right? The tide to come in just right. Surfers do that all the time. That's what she'd been doing. It's ready. Very soon anyway. It's a card of very soon. But it's ready. It's just the whole reading is talking about what you did for this person. How you changed this person. The decision that, you, that they have to make. And if they stay with what they've got, it's backing up my three card reading from earlier. It ends in it ends in in disappointment. Okay, they have to take a shot, even though there's pain here with you, on this side of the two of pentacles. They have to take a shot, and the soul energy proves it with resurrection, wanting a second chance, all right, and liberating themselves from an energy that's been holding them back from doing it with the hangman crossing here. They got. It's, it's absolute perfection in tarot here, and especially in the soul position, but this too. What's the final outcome? Four cups. Now, I talked to death about this already. I've tied it to each of these cards already. Let's see what falls on top of it. Let's see which way the wind is blowing. The timing is right for her to get in the water. It's a her on the card, so your person can be a dude. It's fine. But the timing is right. Here, you know. Um, what's the four of cups doing? Tell me about it. What's the final final on this? Crossing the four cups. Coming your way. is Hands down, of all the times I've ever pulled this card, this is the most balanced fucking emperor I've ever pulled. It literally, it is the most balanced emperor I've pulled. This is not the Burger King. This is, this might as well be a chariot. I'll shit if a chariot's underneath it. It's not. It's okay. I, it, it's fine. I just wanted to look if there was a chariot underneath there. This is a very balanced emperor. Either way, this person here, you guys have a very powerful connection with this card coming out here because we already had the Empress. You guys are a divine couple. All right? The Emperor and the Empress. The Emperor is going to be everything I've already told you, tying this disappointment to you and tying it to them and their, their past, 
and the way it plays out is 100% accurate with that emperor there. The emperor is going to be disappointed, I think, if they don't come towards you. What's on top? So let's see what they're going to do. The Queen of Wands, Fakie McFakerman. Well, how about that? It's our overall energy. The lion is holding one of the roses that's crossing that, that Queen of Wands over here. Right? This Queen of Wands is, is crossed by the, uh, uh, the strength card. Right? All right. Let's, let's put that back. And let's talk about this Queen of Wands. This is Fakey McFakerman. It's red with their, their old, the past, the way they've been living, their status quo. It's phony. It's garbage. And they know it, and it's disappointing. They know it because I've got temperance here. I've got cards that tell me they know it. I've got the Ace of Swords up in the pre-shuffle. I know they know. They know damn well. I know Kurt Cobain knows he wants a second chance. Right? Um, there is a strong energy here. I'm just going to talk about, I know it's not out yet, but again, they really feel like they handled, and they don't, it's hard for this person to admit it. They really feel like they handled things poorly with you. Very, there's a lot of disappointment around you two not having anything. But what's also disappointing for them is that their life has been kind of fake. It's been kind of phony that they've been pretending the whole time. What's, what's the final final on this? It's time to do something about it. It's the King of Swords. I love the King of Swords in certain contexts, and I love it right here. I love it. It's swords. It's the same suit as this. This is three swords. This is the King of Swords. He holds Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. This is Archangel Michael over here. We already saw his Sword of Truth up in the pre-shuffle. This is someone who is cutting this out. They are they're done. The, these two cannot be a couple. She is fake and phony. Right? Phony ass. She's, got a, she's all about brand names and driving the right car, being seen with the right people, seen at the right places. And he don't give a shit about any of that. He just wants to go fishing. Right? He just wants to hang out. He just wants to... He's the king of swords. He knows the truth, is the truth, speaks the truth. She's the opposite of the truth. This is about cutting this out. It's about... It's red with the three of swords. They're going to have to take action on this. They handled it wrong. They could have done it better, and they're going to try and fix it. I see that. It plays out that way. That's for the majority of you. That's the way it rolls. That's what the universe is telling us here. Let's go back to the animal deck. Let's pull three cards, see what else the universe wants to tell you. Let me give the deck a shuffle, see what else the universe wants to tell you. Unreal. So, if you had any doubts about, you know... I don't know what you did for this person. Because I know for, for most of you, they're very quiet. They, they're not going to admit most of this to you. But th this, is, this is your side. Their side is fake. It's phony. They're, all of this is tied to disappointment. And they'll be disappointed. This, this card, the King of Swords, also tells me, with the way the energy reflects with the Three of Swords, that they'll be hugely disappointed if they don't do something. If they don't come in to try to clear something up. If they don't talk to you. Just like she, she's going to be real disappointed if she waited all that time for the waves to get right and she don't go in the water. It's a lot of disappointment here. Pay attention to the three card I pulled earlier. The three card I pulled earlier is technically your extended on this reading. I kind of did them backwards, I suppose. Right? Let's see what else the universe wants to tell you. There is a volatility in the energy. Kurt is crying out there for sure. All right, give me three cards. We always pull from the bottom. When we do this, I've got my shuffle. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and Judgment. <laughs> three of Pentacles was crossing in the 3D. Judgment is the last card out in the soul. It's all tied together. This is just tying the whole thing together. It's adding up the whole reading. Somebody wants a second chance. They don't feel like they handled it right. Um, this may or may not burn out. They don't know. But they, they do know that they can't keep the status quo and they want to build something new on a solid foundation. They want a partnership. What they have on their side is fake. It's right here. They want a partnership. That's what they see they could have with you, which is part of the reason they feel kind of disappointed. Right? A little bit. Mm, should have should have picked the rainbow kind of a thing and I picked this shit on this side um, what they have is fake because this card represents their past the way they've been living their status quo and it's fakey McFakerman right here and we know fakey McFakerman's getting real in fact these last three cards from the universe back up the strength card crossing fakey McFakerman 
to a T. Except it's tied more to the soul here. You know, there's a there's a there's an energy of liberation around this soul. Liberation from a third party. Liberation from what's been holding this connection, holding them back. Because just them back. Never mind the connection. Because the uh, hangman was crossing here, and the hangman's over here, and their book ending. Um, it all this whole reading ties together. You look for that in a reading. This is. I mean, if, if I was teaching tarot, I would pray. I would use this as an example reading of how things tie together. The hangman crossing the soul, the hangman over here, they bookend each other, they're read together, the judgment card tied to the final outcome with a card of victory. Uh, this, this energy right here is often a horse rider, a rider on a horse coming back into town, victory after a long battle kind of a thing. A lot of you think this is dead with the Ten of Swords that was crossing here. It, feel, it can feel that way. It really isn't. Whether or not this stays lit, and it, or it could just be a match in the wind, this Ace of Wands. But whether or not it stays lit is dependent upon whether or not you guys can come to some kind of agreement. Either way, they want to fix something with this King of Swords here in the final outcome, red with the Three of Swords. They want to fix something that they're very disappointed about. Someone here knows your value. They know what you showed them, what you made them look at, and they hated you for it for a long time. They don't anymore. There's an appreciation energy somewhere in all of this. Okay, they got to get through their ego to get to it. But there's an appreciation energy somewhere in here. Somebody here handled this poorly, and they definitely want to fix that. They want a second chance. And it looks like they're coming to get it, no doubt about it. Ten cups. Can go either way. It can be fairyland or it can be real. That ten of cups ties directly to this. Okay, because tens reset to aces. The suits don't have to match. Tens reset to aces. This ten, this can be, it's saying exactly, backing up my energy read of what I said about this Ace of Wands. It might stay lit, it might not. It's either fairyland or it's real. The answer is it depends. They need to do something and it looks like they are. That's where we're at right now. This reading ties directly with the three card I pulled earlier today about the volatile energy that's out there. So definitely watch that one. Like I said, that's pretty much your extended for this. All right? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If this helped one person today, I've done my job. I have not wasted my time. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.